Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Bender and I'm the Associate Artistic Director of Gulf Shore Playhouse. Merry Christmas, Bedford Falls. Merry Christmas, you wonderful old building and loan. Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter. Yippee! <laughs> well, it's hard to believe that four months ago I was saying those words on our stage in Gulf Shore Playhouse's production of It's a Wonderful Life. It's a beautiful story. Well, it's an American classic about uh, hitting rock bottom, questioning the meaning of it all, and finding support and friendship in the most surprising, reassuring, and heartwarming places. Well, cut to our present circumstances, and wow, what a difference a week can make. I mean, in these circumstances, what a difference a day can make. Here I am, self-quarantined with my family, as I have been for the past week, rationing paper towels, bread, and vegetables, and yes, you guessed it, toilet paper. And I think back just a week and a half, a week and a half ago, the show I directed, The Lady Demand Satisfaction, was on our stage, and I was busy rehearsing uh, The Lion in Winter with an amazing, wonderful cast, and I was playing King Henry II. Well, the king is quarantined. Long live the king, as long as he stays six feet away from his subjects. And that's because, well, because an invisible threat has brought it all crashing down around us. Our season is canceled. Uh, we're down to a skeleton crew of staff trying to keep Gulf Shore Playhouse breathing while we shift our energy and resources to keep the Playhouse afloat until this plague has passed us. And sadly, 30, 30 of our staff had to be let go last week. Um, we've said goodbye to our education interns, our office staff, our artists, and our actors. We've said goodbye to our audiences, our patrons, and our friends. And uh, it's hard, you know. It's hard not to feel like George Bailey in his darkest hour of It's a Wonderful Life at moments like this. <clears throat> Working so hard to create something for a community and then watching circumstances beyond your control bring it all crashing down, you know. Spending years building something and feeling like it's all gone in a matter of days. And it's hard when these things happen, it's hard to know where to go from from here. Well, this is where the wonderful in It's a Wonderful Life resonates so deeply. Um, at our most sort of despondent and hopeless when our, our small group of uh, artists sitting isolated at home, still working for the Playhouse, we're wondering what was gonna happen next. Well, what did happen next was you. You happened. On Tuesday, when we put out the call for help, asking people to uh, credit their tickets uh, or turn them into donations or, or reaching out to, to ask for sponsorships for next season, you were there. You were there and you were eager to talk to us. We put out the word and the emails and the calls came trickling in. And then donations, much needed donations came in as well, as well as uh, reassurances of support and other acts of kindness that made us really feel as though our family community was stepping out and stepping in in our time of need. And just like the Bailey Bedford Falls, you, you have brought life back to Naples and to Gulf Shore Playhouse. And just as for the Bailey uh, household, you were willing to put in some coins in the basket to help a family in need. Now, for those of you who came to us very quickly with financial and emotional support, your leadership has really been a light in the darkness. And this George Bailey uh, really knows and has found out what it means to be a part of a vibrant, vibrant community that cares, that hopes, and that acts quickly to help those in need. And so from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And for those of you who support us but haven't yet reached out, we very much, we very much need you. Now, I know that you're busy and I know that you're anxious and I know, I know that a lot of other arts organizations and organizations in general are reaching out for your help. But if you can find it in your heart and your budget to reach out to this little arts company that could, your generosity will help us stand back up next season stronger than ever because of your support. And if you would be willing to do that, you would have my sincere and heartfelt thanks as well. 
Now, we don't have a basket to pass around like they did in It's a Wonderful Life, but if you wanna click on the link, I think it's below, click on this link below, that would be an incredible gift and uh, I would thank you very much. I would be profoundly grateful to you. Your investment in the future life of Gulf Shore Playhouse is a beautiful thing and I am humbly grateful for it. Uh, as tough as this week has been, and it has really been one of the toughest weeks that this organization has ever had, I cannot help but come back to the beauty and the message of It's a Wonderful Life, a message more resonant and true now in the past three days than it has ever been for me. Remember, no man is a failure who has friends. Well, friends of Gulf Shore Playhouse, Thanks for the wings. Love, Jeff.